boys, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to get your jitter click to maximum speed. Okay, so you're gonna need big forearms, number one, big biceps, number two, and this workout's gonna be targeted forearms and biceps, and we're gonna absolutely destroy them, okay? <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know, this probably could help with jitter clicking, but I'm gonna show you guys my little workout for, not little, all right? It's big, just like something else. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my workout for forearms and biceps. Basically, it's mostly biceps, but obviously there's carryover from biceps to forearms. So if you guys wanna do this, go for it. I don't know, I'll probably put it on screen, the workouts, or I'll just go through it and you can just see what I do. I don't really know how I'm gonna structure it, but I'm filming it myself. So we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully it'll be pretty good. I'm gonna go as hard as I can, super damn hard, and uh, get a super good bicep little workout in. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I've never really recorded me doing a workout. So I don't know how it's gonna go that well, but it should be pretty good. If you want a fast jitter click, stay tuned. All right, simple as that. But we're gonna go in there and get in some work. Hope you guys enjoy. And also I'm wearing this sweatshirt because I just wanna sweat a lot. Uh, if you ever wanna just sweat an insane amount, wear a sweatshirt and that should help. But obviously more layers, the more you're gonna sweat. So we got my water, we got my keys, so let's get it. You're no hero, so don't act like it. And please don't treat me like I'm your sidekick. Cause I watch TV, I see how life is. And it's not easy, but still I'm right here. This first exercise is just a warm up to warm up my shoulders. I have super bad shoulders. As you can tell, I'm kind of just doing different shoulder exercises, 10 reps of each. I highly suggest warming up. It enhances your performance in the gym an extreme amount. So if you're not warming up, I suggest starting. Also, drink water, as you can tell. This first exercise is a, just a straight up curl at 70 pounds. I like to start off with the exercise where I can lift the most at the start so you're not burnt out and you can go as hard as you can. As you can see, I'm, I'm using a little bit of sway. It's kind of cheat form. You guys don't know about working out, but I'm basically swaying a little bit just to cheat and kind of get the rep up. It's really hard, so this way it kind of makes it a little bit easier while also still lifting that same heavy weight. So. It's not really cheating in my opinion. I don't know. I've, I saw a lot of muscle growth from doing this. I don't really, I don't sway that much. It's very little, but I did three sets of this, 10 reps each. This next exercise is called a spider curl. It's super different. It's a different variation. Basically you lay your chest on the bench, put your arms over and you just curl the weight. I was doing 25. So you're trying to go for five reps. This is an extremely hard exercise, especially after the super hard one I did before, but compounding these together gets your arms extremely pumped. As you can tell, it was very hard for me. This next exercise is called a preacher curl. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. But as you can tell, I'm doing a little less weight and more reps. After those two exercises and then this one, it's all bicep focus and it's extremely hard. So if I were to do a lot of weight, I couldn't do it. I seriously couldn't. Uh, this exercise after those two is just very hard. But what I was doing is trying to get 15 to 20 reps each arm for three sets. As you can tell, I'm struggling a bit. I also, my right shoulder does hurt, so that's why the right shoulder is kind of a little more brutal. But I'm only going to show you one arm, just not to bore you. But I did both arms, and it's, it's honestly a good exercise. You know it's because I wear my word like a wedding ring Sticking to my grave, put honesty above everything Cause I ain't been perfect, but at least I got a purpose Rising stars in my contact list, we hippies and we merch shit Conversations with the greatest, can't wait to say I made it Shouts to those who say I helped them get through hard times, you my favorite Shouts to channels that upload me, and the haters that can blow me And shouts out to... Here I am, you're filling up the water, you know If you want a good jitter click, you need water, simple as that well, I'm almost done uh, with bicep workouts like these. I like to kind of just go super hard and not do that many exercises, but at the end, I'm totally dead. When you're working on jitter clicks, bro, like, come on, let's be honest. I'm easily gonna get 20 CPS, never get tired after this workout. So if you guys want it, you know, you gotta get it. If you want a jitter click and beat Stimpy, I've already done it, obviously, I'm the best. But if you want a jitter click and beat Stimpy, you need to follow this program, simple fact. Now, but all jokes aside, it, gen it honestly is a good workout. Um, I'm doing kind of different variations that most people don't do back to back. Uh, it just really burns out the biceps. Your biceps are gone after this. I promise you that. But we're going to do about two more exercises and then call it a day. As you can tell, I took off the sweatshirt. I don't know. I wasn't really feeling it. I kind of wanted to be a little loose. This exercise is called the reverse curl. On this one, I did 15 reps for three sets. Most people don't do this. It targets your biceps pretty well and your forearms pretty well. I kind of used some sway in this as well. 
but it's still a pretty good exercise. I believe I'm using a 60 pound curl bar right there, but this exercise is really good. If you guys haven't tried it, I suggest giving it a try. system, you won't see control me. Blogs that show me love and friends who love what we do. Everyone who sees us hitting the top before we go. Please don't treat me. This next exercise, I don't really know the name for it. I guess it's called a hammer curl, seated hammer curl. But it targets your biceps pretty well. On this, I believe I went for 10 reps for three sets. I'm not really sure. Also, I'm gonna show you a different angle just to show you guys the exercise a little bit more. I've never done it before until today. Give it a try. Hero, so don't act like it. And please don't treat me like I'm your sidekick. Cause I watch TV. I see how life is. And it's not easy. But still I'm right here. Screaming I'm good. The last exercise I did was I went back to curls. And what I did was I started out at a 60 pound curl bar. And I did five reps. As you can tell the reps are pretty hard for me. After I did five reps I went right down to 50. Five reps and then I went right down to 45 reps and so on and so on until you think like the weight's too little but as you keep going down it gets harder because obviously your muscles you just keep going there's no rest time so you just keep going keep going until you're dead and it's honestly a good finisher quick little arm workout I thought it was effective if you want a jitter click this is this is the exercise for you let's be real now nah, but it was honestly a good exercise obviously I don't know everything about exercising but I try to do my best Hopefully you guys can give me some feedback down below. Then one night as I closed my eyes, I saw a shadow flying high. He came to me with the sweetest smile, told me he wanted to talk for a while. He said, Peter Pan, that's what they call me. I promise that you'll never be lonely in ever. Well, I'll be honest, it was a pretty good workout. My arms are legit dead. I just saw I did some flexing. I'm not trying to show off. I genuinely am not. I mean, I guess, you know, whatever. But I'm just showing that, like, progress can happen. You know, I used to have pretty small arms, and I used to be kind of a fat kid. And progress can happen. It really can. So push yourself. And if you want that 20 CPS jitter click, all right, that's great. I, I can't take that anymore. But if you honestly want to get better in anything you do, working out helps an insane amount. And at the end there, I turned the chair just to get the other angle so it looked kind of cooler. And as I turn the chair, this girl, she's the, she has the biggest booty ever. Legit, the biggest booty on the planet. I turn my chair, okay, to get the other angle so the camera can, yeah, it's a long story. But I turn my chair, and the second I turn it, she goes to an exercise that's right behind me. So the mirror is facing right at her. It was so awkward. She probably thought I was, like, stalking her or something, turning my chair to, like, look at her. It was weird stuff. But I'm about to leave. I'm going to go home, take a shower. Hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> If your jitter click isn't improved after this, you didn't follow the steps right. Let's be let's be real here. Leave a like if you did enjoy, I'd appreciate that. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe down below. Honestly, I'd appreciate that a lot. Throw ideas down below, different videos like this or anything else. Any ideas you have, I'd appreciate down below in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one.